Hi, I'm Lane Jones. I work with Chagas on the ASAP program. Hi, I'm Kira Donovan. Uh, I work with Dairy Girls on the ASAP on the ASAP program. Here we are in the Caha River, which is located between Dunmanu and Macroom in West Cork. The Caha River itself uh, is a headwater tributary to the Bandon River. The southern half of the Caha is located uh, within a special area of conservation. Part of the reason why it became a special area of conservation is to protect species such as the freshwater pearl mussel, which is an endangered species. This section of river is also one of 190 prioritised areas for action across the country covered by the ASA programme and is one of a small number with a high status objective. In the course of their investigations, the local authority scientists working on the programme found sediment to be a significant issue here. Sediment from river banks can easily enter the river at these cattle access points, physically clogging up the riverbed gravels home to many species. Fencing the river two metres back from the river bank allows nature to repair these areas. Further to these findings, a group of local farmers met with the Bandon Rivers Trust and the Caha project was born. They decided the best thing they could do was to put the fences up where there previously were none along the river bank. Okay, so Lynn, can you tell us a little bit about the, the Caha group and, and what they were going doing here? Well, the Caha group comprises of nine farmers, uh, nine farmers that have an interest in doing what they can to protect the river. And what they'll be doing is they'll be fencing the river bank uh, two metres back from the river with a view to uh, avoiding situations whereby the bank is eroded by cattle going in to, in and around the river uh, and uh, allowing biodiversity to rebuild and repair these areas and uh, trap nutrients from getting back into the river and prevent damage done to the banks of the river by the cattle themselves. Brilliant, brilliant. About, about what distance will they end up fencing all together, do you, do you think? Around three and a half thousand metres will be fenced on this project. Excellent, excellent. Is there, is there any other, uh, are they going to do anything else as part of, of, of the project? Well, in order to keep cattle out of the river, alternative uh, uh, drinking water supplies will have to be provided. So drink, water trucks are going in and uh, there's a nose pump also going in. Okay, brilliant. Thanks, Lynn. Uh, so Tim is um, a local farmer. He's a participant in the, the Caha project. Um, he's uh, definitely um, uh, an advocate of protecting your local heritage. Um, being, a, a, I suppose, a, a, a serious enthusiast of the, of the local historical society. So, first question, Tim, uh, I'd like to ask you is, um, you know, wh why, uh, why did you want to participate in the in the the Caha, uh, project itself? I want to protect the river as good as I can, uh, to fence it and to keep cattle out of it especially as this is a very um, important river to me anyway uh, over the mussels um, in it and um, we're here in a very historical part of the country uh, this where i'm standing here the Cahar bridge i suppose is the first bridge built over the Cahar river in 1822 uh, at a cost of a hundred and pounds 14 shillings I think that would be the correct amount of cost and uh, we're cheap at the time, but <laughs> we're just almost 200 this bridge is almost 200 years old yeah. it will be 200 um, years old on the 8th of August 2022 okay and, and I, I hear something something kind of disturbing, kind of worrying, but from a historical perspective, very interesting and very important not to forget happens close to here. Uh, unfortunate, unfortunately, yes. Um, in 1793, just downstream here, a couple of hundred yards from where we're standing, uh, there were 17 men drowned here in a family dispute that got completely out of control and uh, it left a uh, mark, I suppose, in the historical area of this countryside. Yeah. And um, this is recorded in a book written in the uh, very early 1800s by uh, the McCarthy's, uh, wrote a book here locally. Yeah. And we have this book in the Historical Society in Dumama. Right, very good. Uh, and there's other, other, other... Uh, I, the, the, the bridge, or, sorry, the river changed its course as well. It did. The river the changed its course in the um, early 1900s. There was a great flood here in uh, in the summertime, and uh, the cocks of hay came down the river here and blocked the eyes of the bridge. Right. And um, 
severe flood rose and the river changed its course um, downstream here and um, it was one of the most uh, damaging floods ever to be recorded here in right. this locality. Yeah, yeah. And, and there was all sorts of uh, unusual things washed up after that right here? There was. My great-grandmother found uh, a bayonet uh, which was washed out in the field. Uh, the bayonet was uh, dated to be in the mid-1700s. I still have the bayonet. Uh, it was passed down to my grandfather and to my father and to me and I have it and it is of, um, I suppose, of great historical significance really to have it and um, yeah. I'm glad it is in the family all the time anyway. Brilliant, brilliant. Well look, thank you very much for joining us on this very soggy <laughs> summer's day. Thank you, <laughs> thank, thank you look, very much. Uh, like you say, it's, 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 a, it's a, a really historically significant area and, and really important for us to remember uh, and to protect whether it's through a group scheme uh, through the the, the the CAHA project or any other scheme I suppose. Uh, oh yes it's very you know we need to leave uh, the things better than we got them hopefully Absolutely. for the coming generations Absolutely. to come. Absolutely. Thank you Jim. Yeah. And thank you very much. Thank you. Hi my name is Jason Nash I'm secretary and a director of the Bandon Rivers Trust. Since our formation in 2018, this is the first project that we have been involved in. A project like this will offer the River Caha significant protection and is a great opportunity to further conserve and enhance it for the future. The River Caha is of immense ecological value, in particular for Atlantic salmon, which use it as a spawning tributary, and for the critically endangered freshwater pearl mussel.